Hey, what's up, guys? This is your boy TNT Barbecue. First, I'm, I'm doing a chicken wing cook, and I'm using two special ingredients and a special grill. I'm using the A Smoke S300, and the rub today, I'm using my boy over at the meat stall, uh, meat sprinkles, his rub. Guys, right there will be his iCard for his video, and the way to purchase this rub will be on the bottom of the video in the description. Hey, go get some of the meat sprinkles. I'll be using his hot barbecue sauce, and I'll be using the A Smoke. Um, A Smoke, uh, we put the flavor first. Uh, this is their all 100% natural apple wood pellets, okay? I'll be using this to smoke these beautiful chicken wings. So I'm gonna bring you in closer and zoom in while I, while I season these chicken wings up with my boy Rick, a sprinkle me baby. From the meat stall, his, his rub, okay? This is a very great rub, great on chicken. Okay, so let's get the sprinkling, baby. We got our drummets and our wingettes here. I'm finna go ahead on with my boy, Rick from the meat stall. Sprinkle me, baby, his rub. And I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, like do a, a, a pretty heavy dosage cause this is not real salty, but it has great flavor. As you can see the uh, the black pepper is, is very pronounced in here. So Rick, what are we doing? It smells good. I can smell, mm, I smell a lot of, I smell cumin and I smell all kinds of different seasoning. So right there, I think that's enough. So I got all the seasoning. So what I like doing with chicken wing, cause I don't want to over season these. I want to kind of just mix them up like such. Cause then you, you know you're getting all of it pretty much season, you're just using the cutting board to mix your season around cause I went on pretty heavy. So yeah. So I'm, I got these all seasoned up. They're looking good. This is how I season mine, okay? As you can see, everything looks pretty much well incorporated, okay? So, mm. This still's outstanding already. So I'm gonna go out to the A smoke, we're gonna get that fired up, and we're gonna let you know what our next step is, okay? All right, we're out here to the A smoke. I'm gonna go ahead and pop the doors. And I love these spring-loaded door handles. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, open the pellet hopper. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up in all natural. Oh, uh, pellets right here. Lock that down. And I'm going to cut it on to, uh, I think we're going to start off at 250. So, yeah, that's what we wrote. That's how easy it is. We already got it pre burned in. That video uh, be on the playlist I'm going to create. And I think, man, that's just outstanding. So, we're going to get ready to put the, um, I'll bring you when we put the chicken wings on the smoker, okay? We're gonna see, can we get them all to fit, all right? So I see the A smoke coming up to temperature. And I'm gonna go ahead and start placing the chicken wings on the on the A smoke. I'm gonna use pretty much all the surface spaces it got due to the fact that, uh, and I like for my smoker and my meat to come up uh, temperature together. So that's why I like. All right, guys, we got the chicken loaded. We're about to close it up. I'm gonna do lock, lock it down. And we're gonna let these things cook. 250 degrees, we're gonna let it come up to temperature along with the meat. And we're gonna just see how this A smoke rolling. These beautiful applewood pellets gonna give it a good flavor. And plus I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna kinda run it a little hot to get the fat run there from the chicken wings, and then we're gonna sauce them. All right, guys, be back with you. So, I'm basing these, getting butter on everything. Everything deserves a little butter, and I'm, I'm touching them. I can feel everything. This is really cooking real good. I'm, I like the color of what's, what's happening. 
And I'm just gonna go ahead and just do one side basement bar. I'm not gonna flip them just yet. Go ahead and close down. Let's check on our pellets to see how many pellets we have used so far. Oh, that's looking good. So we probably gonna use probably not even a pound yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it down. Keep it going at 250 degrees. And it's about 25 degrees outside. So, uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this thing on up. The 500 degrees. Uh, it's time for me to crisp the skin. And I'm gonna go ahead and flip everything over. And I know it's a little dark outside, but I'm gonna go ahead and finish this cook up. With the finished product, we are gonna glaze them down and do what we do with that, okay? As you can see, A smoke doing what it's supposed to do. And I'm gonna go on it with little this uh my boy over in Rick. That beat frosting hot. And I'm gonna get my brush and just brush some of the in probably. Just brush, brush it in. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it go. I got it at 500 degrees. I wish y'all could smell it. So this is what we're doing. The finished product, man. Look at these wings. I gotta fight the kids off these beautiful wings, guys. Hey, the meat stall, meat sprinkles, yummy. Yeah, and the meat stall barbecue sauce, find me some, some meat and sauce it. Hot, yum. Guys, me and my son about to zoom out. We'll do a taste test and we'll tell you what's going on, okay? Peace. So before we get to doing this taste test, I wanna mention a couple things. And guys, you know, I'm not a salesman at Mandela's. No. Okay, my son's got some wrestling practice, so he's hungry. So first, before you get down this food, son, let's talk about this first, okay? First thing first, okay? If y'all want to get some TNT apparel, I'll put the link in below. Just click on the link, order your TNT t-shirts. It comes in numerous colors. You can you can put uh, your name on it, like mine got, what it got on the back of Dallas? Owner and operator. Owner slash pitmaster. Owner slash pitmaster on the back of my shirt. So you could be as cocky if you want to be on your shirt if you want to. TNT barbecue shirts. Link will be in the description. We do sweatshirts. We do all kinds of designs. Second of all, bam. Okay, the meat, the meat seasoning, the rub. Man, this is dynamite, baby. And the sauce, yum. Okay, don't ask me how I know, but it's the last bottle, Rick. All right, and then the A smoke. You get 15% off. You got to put T and T 15, and you get 15% off of the A smoke, right, Dallas? What the AS4, AS300, excuse me, AS300, right? 15% off. So without further ado, thank you, A smoke, for sending me out that grill. Appreciate it. Uh, thanks, Rick Meat Stall, and thanks, Carla, the one that make my TNT barbecue t-shirt. Thank y'all, guys. Let's get to tasting, guys, okay? So this was smoke on Applewood Smoke Dallas, okay? And then we grilled it off at 500 degrees. Why don't you take one, Dallas? That's new, huh? We don't do apple, really. Yeah, I don't do apple, but these, these, these are 100% apple wood pellets. All right, let me know how you think like it, Dallas, okay? Mm. Mm. That sauce. Mm. That sauce. Mm. 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 What do you think about the smoke flavor? It's really good. Like it's not, it's not tough, but it's not falling off the bone. You gotta give it a little pull if you want it. But let's say smoke flavor, but smoke flavor is really good. Mm -hmm. it, can, it does taste a lot different than when we smoke it on Old Rusty. I think we would never smoke tiny ribs, tiny chicken like this on Old Rusty. But this, this all, all, all overall, it's actually really good. Hey man, 
A smoke, great product, great, great food, yummy. I love these wings, man. Smoky, sweet, the, the, the sauce is outstanding. Man, every, I can taste the rub. I can't stop, man. Hey, guys, I'm feeling, uh, mm. I'm sorry, dog, but this is good. Man, I like the char on it. A Smoke did an awesome job, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So the S300, guys, 15% off. TNT 15, get 15% off. Call my boy Rick, order some of this sauce, order his rub. He sell, he sell a, a, a combo pack, mile high and a rub. Hey, man, go to his website, tell him TNT sent you. Hey, we want to end this by saying what, Dallas? This is TNT barbecue with a suddenly explosive taste. God, God bless you and God bless America. We out of here. Peace.